Hi, welcome to an Arduino step-by-step -step course by RoboJax. Please make sure to subscribe by clicking at the subscribe button in here. Thank you. I'm going to show you how you can use this display to display text uh, on this 1602 display. This is called 1602 because it has 16 characters with two lines. We will see the text in one line and on the other line. So there will be two lines with 16 characters each. Because this module uses this I squared C module, you don't have to connect all of these wires for connecting it and using it. You just need to connect these four wires. And the four wires have been labeled as SCL, that's a signal clock or CL, and then SDA, that's a data pen. And then we have VCC, this will be connected to five volts. And then ground, this will be connected to ground of Arduino. Brightness of the screen can be adjusted using this variable resistor or potentiometer with a screwdriver. And from here, you can also turn off the backlight or turn it on if you connect it. Other than that, you don't do anything with this and it's as simple as that. This is the wiring diagram. Uh, for VCC, the pin VCC is connected to 5 volts. We will connect the ground to ground. SDA will go to A4 and SCL will go to A5. Here I've connected it according to this diagram and I have even tried to put the same color on this diagram. As you can see SDA, the gray is connected to A4, SCL purple connected to A5, this VCC white is connected to 5 volts and then ground black is connected to the ground. Because we are using I squared C communication protocol, this uses wire library provided by Arduino, and depending on your board that you're using, different pen at the board is assigned to work with I squared C. Uh, the board that I'm using is Arduino Uno or Arduino Ethernet Shield or board that you get. Uh, a5, A4 is SDA and A5 is SCL, that's the clock. But for Arduino Mega 2560, 20 is SDA and 21 is SCL and Leonardo these pens and for Duo or these pens. As each I square C module, this is the actual LCD that is sold and you will have to have I square C module attached to it. Sometimes this is sold separately. You have to solder it, but try to buy the one that is already soldered because it will be very easy. And this module has I square C address, and the address will be different. For the sketch that we are running, we have to know the address. And usually the address is determined by this A0, A1, A2. I'll have a separate video on YouTube explaining that and these pen either if they are soldered or not soldered the address changes even if this is not soldered from one device to the other the address might be the same or different so we have to find out the address when you're working with any device that has i square c to check the address uh, there is a program called i square c scanner or i2c scanner this is the address we have to load once the program runs, it will display the I square C address of a device that is connected to Arduino. Loading this I square C scanner to the board, and this is the serial monitor, it will read the address for us. As you can see, it says found, and it's 0x3f. 0x means hex value, and 3f is the address of this module. And if I disconnect these two wires, 
you will see that it will not display the device not found if I connect it again you will see that it found that address so we know this address 3f is our address let me now explain the code the code uh, starts with this uh, hash sign include when you put this with include you have to put a file name and in this case because this is a uh, library type we put it inside the squared bracket uh, wire mean uh, this is used for i square c communication this is part of the library and you don't have to do anything about it the next line says include the quote crystal underscore i2c dot h that's the header file that is needed for this and you have to download and install it on your library in my case i will provide you the link you will download it on your computer as a zip file and after that go to sketch include library and click add zip dot zip library once you click you will uh, point it to the place that you have downloaded you will have it at uh, liquid crystal underscore i2c dot zip point it to that for example this is zip and click open once you click open it will be included After including this library, which you have to download and include, I just shown you this line here. This is the exact name up to here, up to dot. This is a class. We are creating an instance of the class and we name it LCD. You can put some other name if you wish. And it has three argument, one, two, tr three, which has been separated with comma. The first one is the I square C address. The second one is the number of characters on the screen which is 16 characters and the two is number of lines in case if you're using a different module that has for example there is 2004 or 20 character and four line you can put that but this is the address that we just found out using the i square c scanner and as you can see i've used it before this was 0x27 so you must run that program to find the exact address and type it exactly as it is this is 0x3f and type it exactly as you saw. Inside the setup, this initializes the LCD and after that lcd.backlight. This will turn this backlight on for us. Inside the loop, we uh, type lcd.clear because this is a loop and it prints continuously after this delay or of two seconds. So this text, the previous text that is here, we want to remove it so we type lcd.clear so the text is clear everything will be clear from the screen and lcd.print inside this parenthesis with a double quotation we put our text and this text in here is filled up up to it has 14 characters so 15 16 the two characters are empty after that we go to lcd set cursor we set the cursor in order to print. If we don't set the cursor, the lower will be printed on top of this, and some of these characters up to here will be replaced, and this will be staying there. So we say character zero, line one. In computer, we always start with zero, so this is line zero, that is line one, and character zero, one, two, three, four, up to 15, not 16, it starts from zero to 15. So this line means set cursor to 0, 1. That means 0, either here or here. But this 1 means line 1. So line not 0 here. So it means set the cursor here and then print hello world, lcd.print. After that, we wait for 2 seconds. And then the loop goes back, clears, and print the same thing. And this time, and depends how fast you want to display the text sometimes you're measuring voltage or temperature or pressure or motion of something and you want continuously so you can reduce it let's say 500 millisecond and it will be refreshed very fast now this is refreshing very fast you see the, the blink
I made some changes here. The first thing that I did was I created a new variable called count with the type integer with the initial value of zero. So that is zero. And then I put this extra two line. I said set cursor to 13, one. So that is character 13. And then line one, I set it. And then I said print count. The count initially will be zero. After this waiting time, this plus plus means count plus plus means add one more or it's called in terms of programming it's called increment so it adds a value now let me reset it by pressing this button so it starts with zero and when loop comes back printing all this this first time it types zero and then become one two three and so forth as you can see the number is just increasing and the count happens every 500 millisecond or half a second if I want to increase it I can go 100 milliseconds so 10 times a second this time it will be faster and let's see when it reaches the maximum now it's going very fast you will not be able to even read it So the best would be 500. Because I set it zero initially, it starts with zero. If I say 700, it will start with 700 and then increment it for us. Let's wait for the code to load. Now it's 700 and from 700 it just increases. So my point was here that you can put your variable and display whatever the variable it is. Let's say uh, we will later on will learn that if you get voltage or temperature. Now I'm going to connect the potentiometer. This is a variable resistor that I have shown you in previous lessons. And there is three wire. One wire will be connected to 3.3 volts instead of 5 volts because the 5 volts is used by the uh, display. So I'm connecting it to one side to 3.3 volts and the other side to the ground and the middle pin is connected to analog zero. We're going to rotate this and read the voltage at analog zero and then display the voltage on the screen. Now I'm connecting this variable resistor or potentiometer to read the value and these two wires, the left side I will connect it to ground. If I hold it like that, I will connect this to the ground and connect this to 3.3 volts. Middle wire, from variable resistor, I'm connecting it to A0, analog zero. And now I've changed the code, the f and this is exactly the same code that we have for potentiometer. And I use analog read, analog zero, because it is connected to analog zero, the potentiometer here, this green. And we are reading the value, storing it here, and then converting it to the voltage. This is potentiometer value between 0 to 1023. And this is the calculated value stored as voltage with the type float. And this time I've put this. And this time I put voltage. This text is putting it. And after that, I put a uh, float number, uh, number and then V. So we have three information on this line. So let's pay attention. This is responsible for the text voltage in here. And after that, we went, I have set the cursor to character 9. If you count it, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That is 9. Start with 9, 1. 1 means this line, 0 means that line. So I set it here. And then the voltage that is calculated here is displayed here. 1.879 and then again after that if you see here 9 10 11 12 and that is character 13 i set it at character 13 and then line 1 and i say print this v this is a text inside double quotation so it looks nice now let me change it with this potentiometer I 
I'm decreasing the voltage almost zero so I've connected it to 3.3 volts that's why we are reading 3.3 volts and in the same way you can display voltage current pressure speed distance whatever quantity that you have is a LCD 20-04 it has 20 characters this way and it has four lines the same module as this one it has I square C module attached to it this is the 1602 and this is 20-04 the wiring is exactly the same as the other one just insert this and it will turn on and from here you can turn off the screen if you want it now the backlight is off and if there is sunlight you can see it or a bright light uh, let's first run the I square C scanner The address is 0x27 uh, for this module. And this soldering, these three points, determines the address, but yet still these have been exactly the same, both of this, but this was 3f, and this one, as you can see, is 27, 0x27. And here is the sketch that we did for the potentiometer. We have to change the address to 27 and this is now 20 characters and this is 4. We have 4 lines and then upload it. Once the code uploaded, this is a potentiometer sketch and as you can see it shows the voltage and I'm rotating it now. and it shows the voltage now you can go for the for more line let's say we want to display something in the last line just for example for the sake of this I'm copying this this is character 0 line 3 Now I said text in line 4. As you can see, I set it. This 3 means line 4. If you want to shift it, just change this. And if I say 3, it will start 0, 1, 2, 3. And, and start from this T. And as you can see, the, the text has been shifted. Also, in terms of color, this is blue and this is yellow now let's open some other examples and go through them if you go on example the code crystal i2c library master let's go from the blink cursor the first one my address is 3f upload the code And this is the cursor blink in case if you want to display some text. But to activate the blink, we create a variable called bool, boolean type blink true, and then LCD cursor. This sets the cursor at the beginning. While one, this means true forever. Every time you want to do something, this is a loop, and we, this is another loop. While is a type of loop that runs with a condition that is here when you put one it means true forever and then 
this is the beginning of while loop and this is the end so this loop will never go again it will be always true here and here it says if blinking this is the blinking which is true if this is true then do all this otherwise do this now see what happens if this is true we clear the screen no cursor blink this is the text that is displayed no blink and that was a line when it says no blink it after the text it prints that line let me let no blink and it, this underscore and then also we set the blinking to false what it means is it goes back here the while is true this time this is false it comes else because the blinking is false this false will be there then this will be executed and the cursor blink and this square is shown using this blink every time you need to display it, just put this let's open another example scroll down from examples custom cars or custom characters this time let's put the address again at 3f these are some characters that have been defined for example for ball we have to set all this and for note clock heart duck check cross and all this and see how they are being displayed I've updated the address after the address inside the setup we begin lcd.begin that initializes the library turn the backlight on this is the setup it's just one time let me upload it now hello world and these are the text that is displayed and let's go to another example let's go to serial display and change the address 3f upload it this code use a serial monitor and whatever you enter in the serial monitor will be displayed here so how it works is that this is the lcd begin the backlight and then the serial is initialized with 9600 baud after that inside the loop this function it says serial dot available if this is true f this is true which means it checks if some information is coming from serial monitor we have seen that the serial monitor are being used to display the text but this time it receives the text the text from serial monitor and it waits for 100 millisecond clears the screen and after that it checks the value if it's more than zero character or it's available it says while the value is bigger than that it collects all the value from the serial monitor more than one character whatever it is then it it says lcd dot write so this is writing to the lcd but here it says serial.read this reads the value remember we were using serial.print now this time serial.read and whatever we type will be printed or written on this screen let me open the serial monitor now if i type hello and press enter hello is displayed here and I type my uh, my name and press enter it displays here so whatever you type and display this is very simple one and prints it only on the first line but uh, it can be fancier that you can display the text on the other one it's just an example to get the information from the serial monitor and display it here thank you for watching tutorial from RoboJax if you learned something and found this useful please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube if you have comment or question please post it at the comment section below I try to answer and reply and don't forget to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos